Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about how to create a drop down list in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with how to create a drop down list in Excel. Now for that, we might want to switch to the practical mode. Now we are on our Excel spreadsheet and here you can see I'm trying to create a calendar for the employees in the company where you might have to, you know, write down the day and month and year or week of your birth date or maybe your joining date or maybe also your last working day, right? This might be useful for all the employees to, you know, uh, avoid them from writing it down manually. So how do I create it? So it takes a few simple steps. All it takes is some data validation methods. And also there is an exclusive video specifically made on data validation in Excel, link to which is in the description box below, or you can search it on our official YouTube channel. Now. You can see that uh, the word calendar is on the first cell that is a1 but we have four cells below it that is a3 b3 c3 and d3 so you might want to add this to all the cells right like maybe in the middle so for that you can do the option of merge and center also there is a tutorial on merge and center about all the options available in this particular thing so you can go through that also and uh, yeah we have done the first step now all we need is day month year and a week so in a calendar or in a month you'll have days from 28 29 30 or 31 days right so let's create a list or the drop down menu for that so that whenever you click it right so whenever you click on that particular cell you will have the list of all the days available right so let's get started with that let's create a new sheet so why are we creating a new sheet you won't want that all the numbers in your calendar sheet right over here right so for that so we are creating a new sheet and all the data will be available here so here let's write down the days first and here the second number also you can use the option of flash fill so that you can you know uh, reduce the effort here so you can see the flash fill option over here all you need to do is select the cells and drag them down until you get your required dates right so let's keep it to 31 days there you go you have the days so these will be your days and here now the next option was month right yeah month and year now using the same flash fill option you will uh, you know add the months into your sheet so this will be sunday so excel has this smart flash fill option where you can just drag the data and everything will be filled according to your requirements so sunday to saturday now the next one right that is your month so same as the before process will create january you can use the flash fill option and all the way up to december now the last one was the year so 1990 and 1991 so you can select the cells and flash fill up to 2022 maybe yeah 2022 should be good enough now this is the flash fill option you have here and also we have an exclusive tutorial on flash fill altogether you can go through it for a detailed explanation as well now coming back to the original sheet so this is where you create your drop down list right so select the cell where you want to add the drop down list navigate to data and then here is your data validation menu so we have a variety of data validation options over here there is an exclusive tutorial on that you can go through it for now we'll look into the list option only 
because we want to create a drop down list right so here it will ask for source click on the source here the source bar right now navigate to sheet number two where we have the days options select the range so this will be your range and select ok also you can add some message here right what you can do is uh, in case if there is an error or something right you don't want that to be happening so all you need to do is uh, write down select from drop down select from drop down only So this could be a message select from drop down only. The title is select options or just options. In case if there is an error, you can write down your title as invalid data and you can write down a message as please select from drop down only. So, uh, in case of someone tries to write as 32 or 33 to check the integrity of your data validation, then they will encounter an error and an error message and then they must be understanding what exactly they try to do and if it's correct or wrong, right? So, this is to make sure that whatever the data you enter is correct and valid. So, okay. And here you can see select from the drop down list only options with, with option list as title and let's try to enter 32 right and when you press enter you will see an error so the error message is invalid data please try to select from drop down only so you can go for a retry and select the drop down right so let's eliminate them and now select something from the drop down so let's take it as maybe 10 right so this is how you clear the day one now let's try to do with the month same data validation option settings will be list and source will be this one I think I made a mistake here so let's cancel this and go back to sheet 2 and rename this as our week yeah now coming back to the month again it will be a list and the source will be in sheet 2 navigate to the sheet 2 and select your range and the input message the same options Select from drop down only. And error alert. Title will be invalid data. This one will be please select from drop down only. okay and that's done now let's continue with here as well let's quickly do the same will be a list source will be in sheet 2 this is your list 
press OK. And lastly, the week. Same process. It will be a list. Source will be in your sheet too. The input message options. Title invalid data. It's drop down only. Right, so your drop down list is ready now. So the month will be anything. So currently we have May and the year can be anything anywhere. So let's take it as 1997 and we can be, you know, the, the adjacent week. And so what was 10th of May 1997? Let's check our calendars. was a Saturday. So it was a Saturday and that's how you create a drop down list in Excel. And if you want you can also add borders to your calendar. Right? So that's how it's done. With that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to create a drop down list in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the data set that we have used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.